What simple life hack should everyone know? Sometimes changing your pillowcase daily can help with acne. I use a clean t-shirt over my pillow to accomplish the same effect. To add to this, a lot of people wash their face when they get up but not before bed. Washing before you sleep will help keep the pillowcase cleaner and prevent breakouts. You don't need to apply a ton of night cream or anything. Just a medicated pad with salicylic acid will do. Your body will put moisture back on while you sleep and you'll wake up with a less oily face. Do your morning routine and make sure to add moisturizer as needed in the morning instead. Wash your sheets with unscented sensitive detergent too. The perfumes are sometimes an irritant to the delicate skin on your face. If you want to wear something white light in color, wear underwear that matches the color of your skin, not white. Read the 3 and 4 star reviews for the most reliable information on Amazon items, and 2 star reviews for books. Seeing what people dislike tells much, try on your favorite to see. UPD. To clarify, the idea here is that people writing 2 star reviews project their views and values when arguing that the book is bad for them, and when their views are opposite to yours. It may suggest that you might actually enjoy the book. Let's say you are into Reased in Mind Stimulating Philosophy book, and a person writes something like this is boring. The writing is too complex. Ideas are difficult to follow. The language is too intricate. Quit reading after 20 pages. It may mean that it is what you look for. Honey does not go bad. If it has gone solid it has just crystallized and can become liquid again with just a little heat. To confirm which circuit breaker is associated to an outlet, plug in an old radio and turn the volume up before you flip the circuit breaker. If you put something down temporarily, say out loud I've put the screwdriver by the microwave or whatever, this engages many more areas of the brain, particularly the language centers, which creates a richer memory making it less likely you'll forget where you put it, in a similar vein. I will say it out loud when I turn stove burners off. Unplug my hair straightener etc I found this helps me eliminate those moments where I leave the house or am in bed and I'm suddenly like did I leave that on? My wife and I made this a ritual due to her OCD. Anytime we're going out, I'll say to her, hey, I unplugged the iron. Saying it in a funny voice helps too, because it's easier to remember that Shrek told her the iron was off. If you throw a house party where you, as the host, plan on getting quite drunk, start the cleanup while drunk. Trust me, waking up to a clean house when you're hungover is fantastic. Drunk you will barely remember and sober you have so much less to worry about in the morning. If there's a jar or container you can't open, run the lid under hot water for a 30 seconds. Dry it so you can get a good grip, then open. Manners and general politeness will get you far and become the norm with but a small amount of practice. I'm not talking overboard and lady but a simple please and thank you with a genuine smile. Manners and general politeness will get you far. I'll add to this. Be especially nice to receptionists. They are the gatekeepers. Whether you're there to interview for a job or attempt to sell something to the owners. If you are rude to the receptionist, you can kiss your chances goodbye. This applies doubly over the phone where body language and facial expressions are non-existent. Make sure your tone isn't condescending or else your message is going in the trash if it isn't mission critical. Source, I'm a receptionist. Interviewers always stop by my desk to get my seal of approval before moving forward in the hiring process. I have vetoed individuals for being rude snobby and ones for leaving a mess in the bathroom. My vote counts. Not necessarily a hack per se, but learn some basic knife skills. The amount of time you will save chopping vegetables a few times a week, minimum, for the rest of your life far outweighs the amount of time it takes to learn. Plus you can use the extra time to keep the kitchen clean and that makes everything less stressful while you're cooking and makes the cleanup faster as well. When you're cooking and the recipe calls for onions and garlic, don't put the garlic into the pan until the onion is nearly translucent. Garlic cooks way faster than onions do. If you throw them in at the same time it won't taste as good the garlic will burn. It literally takes 30 seconds for minced garlic to cook. Also, if you're a home cook, sharpen your knives often. Thought of a few more tips. Love chives and parsley in your eggs omelets anything else, but hate the hassle of cutting them using the herbs before it turns? Get dried chives and dried parsley instead. It rehydrates quickly and sauces eggs and tastes the same. It's also way cheaper. 
this tip can apply to a lot of herbs. While fresher is always better, dried is often still delicious while still being in a student Y budget. Add a bit of vinegar to your beans if you're making anything beanie. A lot of home cooks think that vinegar is gross, and it is by itself, but a dash of vinegar can really make beans. Sauces and marinades pop. Always poop on company time. This way, at the end of the year, you will have earned like two work days pay by pooping. Hence you will be a professional pooper and also less money spent on toilet paper at home. If you bring something to someone's house that you don't want to forget, put your keys with it. Assuming you can trust the people there. Also, get a tile or similar Bluetooth device so you never lose your keys or phone again. If you have a spare minute or are just playing video games or on a computer at home, take a few minutes to just pet your dog cat and really appreciate them. A phrase I heard somewhere just really stuck with me. Pets are only a part of your life but you are your pet's entire life. You will often have to make decisions in life without being able to know all the information related to the choices. Being able to identify what you don't know is invaluable. It allows you to make assumptions and contingency plans if those assumptions fail. I want to slap every person that quips. If you assume, you make an A out of you and me. You cannot function in life without making assumptions. The trick is to identify them as such so that you can be better prepared when they are resolved. It sounds crazy, but talking to yourself helps in these scenarios too. Use yourself as a sounding board. Just hearing the thoughts out loud can add a new perspective. And in having the conversation with yourself, you need to think about what you want to say and why. And therefore you're opening yourself up to think about it in different ways. Or maybe I'm just nuts and talk to myself a lot. I've heard this referred to as the rubber duck principle. I guess some folks think it's less crazy to talk to a rubber duck than to talk to yourself. In my work, software engineering, it's a pretty common practice to borrow someone just to sit there and listen to a thought. They usually don't need to even provide feedback and are sometimes just replaced with inanimate objects like a rubber duck. But yeah, there's just something about forcing thoughts into verbal statements that often provides the clarity that is needed. You don't actually need to keep contact with your family. If a relationship with them causes any anguish, you're allowed to cut them out. Their failures aren't yours. Yeah, this is important. Don't let the overrated idea of being bound by genetics to be solid reasoning to keep toxic people in your life. I haven't talked to my dad's side of the family in almost a decade and have been a much happier person since. Brush your teeth more thoroughly before bed after you are done eating and drinking for the day. Morning brushing is important too, but more so for fresh breath, while evening cleaning will prevent bacteria from breeding and damaging your teeth and gums. If you want to open a glass jar, like jam, pickles, and the lid won't move, place a spoon with the tip under the edge of the lid and pull the spoon upwards. The lid will bulge and you can open the jar. I gently beat it on the floor. Angle it 45 degrees so you get a corner. Hit it softly, but hard enough that it jars it loose. Try to open it. Repeat. I've never broken a jar and I've never had problems opening jars. Whenever you have a time to be somewhere, aim to be there 15 minutes early. To allow 4 times snacks or 4 traffic. People respect punctuality. Get into a routine of stretching your hip flexors and chest if you sit for long periods. Absolute game changer for people who suffer with chronic lower back pain as a result of being hunched over a desk. If you have trouble choosing, flip a coin. While you're waiting to get the result, your mind automatically starts to wish for what it wants. Then you can choose easily. Become attractive in the world as your oyster. While traveling, I met a guy who literally looked straight out of Baywatch, tall. Blonde, stubble, handsome, muscular Dutch guy. He was going on about it's really not that hard to get girls. I was like bro, do you have any self-awareness? If you're in a public restroom having to poop and are using an automatic flushing toilet, put a bit of toilet paper over the motion sensor at the back. This will prevent it from flushing before you're ready which might scare and or splash you. Also, a tiny bit of paper on the water itself will prevent the splash when you drop your poop just remember to take the paper off when you are done to initiate the flush mostly applies to the USA. Train yourself to always keep an eye out for things that need to go in the direction you are going. If you are about to go downstairs, does any item nearby need to go with you? Perhaps a cup can be brought to the sink on your way to the bathroom. 
Seriously, pay your bills when they arrive, not when they are due. Banks, credit card companies, mortgage lenders, utility services, etc. Absolutely love, love, love it when people wait until the last minute to pay their bills. When I signed up with my bank, I read the agreement and got the personal banker to concede that yes they made a lot of money off late fees. They are not alone. The thing is, paying your bills when they arrive doesn't cost you anything extra. If you can get into the habit, you'll always be ahead of the curve. And if something comes up which necessitates you holding off on a bill, you've got a couple weeks to figure it out. It also relieves a considerable amount of stress. It's a bit like homework. Don't put it off until the last minute. Get the assignment done when the teacher gives it to you. Not really a life hack, but a general advice. Do what works for you. It doesn't matter if it's unconventional. If it works it works. I have added. For me that means keeping things organized is difficult f. I also have a hard time remembering pretty much anything. I keep my laundry in boxes underneath my bed. Organized by color. That way I won't forget anything in the laundry basket. I just empty the whole thing into the washer. Also makes it easier to see what I have to wash first. I live in Sweden. Here we have sort of a deposit. Sorry if that's not the right word. On most plastic bottles cans. That is we pay like 20 cents for the bottle can. We then return it get the 20 cents back. Most people keep those bottles cans in like a wardrobe or such. However, I am terrible at putting those in there. I forget to bring them there it just starts to pile up. Instead, I had a laundry basket just within reach from my bed. So I just had to lean out put it in there. Unconventional. But it worked. I have like a million of these weird hacks going. But the important part is that it's okay to do what works for you. It doesn't matter if other people are able to just do it. If it's hard for you it's hard for you. I've had to explain my solutions a few times. But in the end, most people agree that sure it might not be what they're doing. But it's better than the alternative. Best way to be healthy is to get the correct amount of sleep. Don't go on a strict diet but learn to portion properly and make sure you have a variety of food. Then be active. First two are more important than the last. Simple marinara sauce put crushed garlic and onions. Mushrooms optional. Into pot and cook until onions are clear. Add can of crushed tomatoes. Season. Italian season works perfect. Stir occasionally. Salt to taste and when it's hot it's ready. Find coping skills and practice. Practicing when you're calm will help your body recognize what you're doing and calm down. If the only time you do a coping skill is when you're upset it may stop being effective. Identify toxic people and remove them as much as possible from your life. Apologize. Say you're sorry and explain why you are. Find friends where it is a two-way relationship. You're there for them and they're there for you. Make each other better people. Find a hobby and become passionate about it. Might lead to more friends. How do you find it? Try something new and don't be afraid to be a noob. You'll find a lot more people in a hobby willing to help you than that'll make fun of you. Finding a significant other, S, is fantastic but remember to maintain friendships and hobbies. They should complement your life. Mental health is just as important as physical health. Emotions are real. Get comfortable with all of them. Understand what you're feeling is okay and natural. You are not any less because of how you feel. Find a therapist before you need one. Sometimes you need to talk to more than one to find the one that fits you. Therapists aren't only for times of crisis. Love more and hate less. Hate usually comes from not understanding. There are not excuses for people's behavior but everybody learns to cope or adapt to situations in different types of ways. Some are more effective than others. Love yourself. Accept who you are. You are beautiful. Learn when it is time to give up. No one is successful at everything. People fail. Relationships fail. Dreams aren't always achieved no matter how hard you try. Enjoy the little things. Keep that inner child alive. Remember don't wet the small stuff and it's all small stuff. Last name. Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast.